Welcome back to Fumi Fashion and Beauty. Today's episode is going to be all about the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I love, love, love this. Let us start from the beginning, shall we? So it comes in this box here. This is the package. It's very glamorous. It's very chocolatey, golden, brownie. It's a luxury product and it retails for £42. Uh, off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I think it is way, way, way too expensive for a stick foundation. This is um, this is very, very expensive. But it, then again, our glass is a luxury brand. Having said that, I still think that it is a tad expensive. Then again, I still bought it, or should I say, Ula bought it for me? <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. So this is how it comes in, and I love it. I absolutely love the shape of it. And you just pull it out, and it has a triangular shape. You twist it all the way up like this, and the foundation itself comes out in this triangular shape. I love it to um, in relation to the to the rounder stick foundation. Love this. Why? Because you can put this now in towards the tear duct of your eye, and so you can really get right in there and the sides of your mouth, your jaw, so on and so forth. I just think that it's a great shape, it's a great tool, it's very handy because it's easier to use. And that's another thing. This is what I like about stick foundations. In general, they're not messy. They're not messy. You just plop it onto your face and you're good to go. Now, this foundation is a full coverage. Full coverage, as you can see, because I'm wearing the foundation right here. I'm going to show you the demo after. I just want to talk about it first. And let me get the guide right here because we have the little guide. So I'm going to read off a couple of things and agree with and ag agree and not agree. How, how about that? So it's Vanish. Seamless finish foundation stick. I agree. It is fantastic. It's covered everything on my face i don't have that many many blemishes but the ones that i do phew, away okay so it says features benefits double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage i absolutely agree very little goes a long way i found with this foundation and i loved it i just thought wow you know it's very expensive why it is is because basically you have double the amount that you see because you only need half as opposed to the traditional foundation so that is very correct the formula adjusts to your body temperature to blend into the skin for that smooth seamless finish i have to agree I have to agree. It almost had a kind of warming effect because when I put it on, it looked a tad red. But when I blended it out, it kind of worked out. Many foundations, like I've mentioned before, I would mix and so on and so forth. I did not have to mix anything with this. So UPA for hourglass, that is absolutely correct. And the net weight is 0.2 ounces. So I'm just saying this for you guys that care. I don't really care, but it, the net weight is uh, 0 0.2 ounces and the expiration date, if I can see a little clearly, is 18 months. 12 hour long wearing, fantastic, love it. I wore it from the airport all the way back home. I dropped my stuff and I had to go out again. I didn't get back home till about 10.30 and I arrived in London. I arrived in London, what time? Around what, nine in the morning or something like that? So love it love it didn't have to touch up or anything if anything at all my oily skin i just dabbed your stammy but other than that fabulous comes in 26 shades the 26 shade and i consider myself dark but i don't consider myself black i appeal to all makeup brands out there go as far as pitch black Go as far as pitch black, because if this is my uh, uh, color and I'm espresso, what am I using to contour? Do you see what I mean? So I think that guys, you're doing so very well, but as, as, a, as a woman of color, I know that I'm not the darkest. So this cannot possibly be the darkest. Don't be afraid. Don't feel that you're offending people because when it comes to black and white, the, the lines are so fine that I feel with my Caucasian friends that are in the industry, they're terribly, they're, they're, they're petrified of offending. They don't want to offend. They think, oh, if we do this, we'll be offended. If we do this, we will. And I get it. But you know what? Don't worry. Go and name it black. Don't name it anything offensive. Just name it black. And we'll get do it. I, do I get an amen, my sisters? Yeah! <laughs> I heard you. All righty. So, <laughs> so that was that. 
and then it says here 100 percent reported vanish was fast and easy to use 100 percent. i have to agree that is what i like as uh, as opposed to the pumps and so on it's just easy to use you don't have to wipe you don't have you don't need anything else you just put it on you take your brush and you go fast and easy absolutely 97 reported the vanish covered redness and skin imperfections i don't know because i don't have redness and i don't have that many skin imperfections the ones that i did have yes it covered so yeah 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 i agree okay 94 reported vanish covered skin discoloration pores blemishes and dark under circles dark under circles i don't really have but hold on one minute let me check my pores i don't agree <laughs> I can still see my pores. Do I see them as evident as they were before? No, but I can still see my pores. I've got to be honest with you, sisters. It diminishes it, but I can still see my pores. So I guess I'm the 6% that said no. All right, 90% reported vanish covered hyperpigmentation and dark spots. I agree 100%. And it also says here, use a skin primer, which I did, and I'll show you the demo before. They have their primers. Every company has their primers. You use whatever you want. I used another primer because, like, it's, damn, it's expensive, you know, so I have to cut corners. And it says apply two, three dots in every area of your face, forehead, cheeks, and chin, and start with, start with, less and more as necessary formula is highly concentrated absolutely buffing with a vanish foundation brush or any circular brush in my opinion and that is it quick fast fabulous i adore this i don't have that many stick foundations so when it comes to uh, stick foundations i will reach out for hourglass it's expensive this is very true but i love the full coverage i love the fact that I've got a stick foundation that I did not have to mix and blend. It's everything to me. And my fellow dark sisters, you will know what I mean. So this is the little folder that he came in and it has like from, you know, one to extreme, which I kind of love. I love the dark hair and the blonde hair. And then these are all of the colors that they have. All of the colors that they have. Seen a lot of demonstrations on YouTube, and my sisters are golden almond, which is like one, two, three, four, five, five shades lighter than me. I haven't seen on YouTube yet somebody going in with espresso, which my loves is the absolute darkest. I don't know whether you guys can see it. You know, I'm gonna put some pictures up for you too. But yeah, that's it. This is the darkest espresso, and the lightest is blanc you know and that is pinky white pinky white and th and that's about it i love the foundation this is exactly what i'm wearing and uh sit back and i'm going to show you just a very quick demo of what it looks like on one side of my face and what it looks like with nothing on the other side of my face apart from primer all right my loves i hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you in a couple of days i am back and i am gonna kill it for you guys i'm gonna try and upload uh three episodes a week i'm gonna try i'm gonna try i'm gonna try so i will see you in a couple of days instead of saying i'll see you next week i'll see you in a couple of days Alrighty, so i'm gonna start by priming my face and i'm going to use the maybelline baby skin drugstore brand because the hourglass is expensive enough as it is so let me start with that okay bring my mirror forward so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> okay okay and then I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. And this is in Espresso. And this is the last color of the 26. So I'm just going to dot three in each area on one side of my face so that we can have a comparison for later. Yeah? Okay. I think that's more than three dots, but who cares? <laughs> and then I'm going to use my La Page Train stippling brush and we're just going to punch that in, yeah?
my love. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you in a couple of days. All right. Stay wonderful. Stay beautiful. Enjoy your lives and stay true to your complexion. Bye-bye. <laughs>